Hey, person in the closet, uh, are you a clue to this murder that's going on? Or are you just the dead body that's hanging out in the in the closet right now? Okay, cool. And welcome to GT Not Live, where I'm sitting on the couch and Matt's here in the corner. And uh, apparently today we're uh, house shopping. Uh, this is a strange one. Matt put this on my screen today and I don't know what I'm going for. Uh, I just see on screen right now, if you want to transition over, virtual open house. Uh, 15615 Hollow Oak Lane. Click to begin. So it's, uh, it looks like a real estate listing. Do you remember you had talked about... What episode it was? Uh -huh. We're talking real estate. How you want to buy middle of the hill? Oh, mid yeah, mid hill. That's yeah, what we're inspired the hill. choice. Yeah, yeah. This is it. Yeah. It's you know, it's funny. Uh, this is actually really well timed. Uh, last night, so we're working on our big behind the scenes video talking about like the last ten years of game theory, and so it's gotten me digging through really old videos of from 10, 12 years ago, from back before we lived in California, back before I was doing YouTube full time. Um, and these are files that have never been backed up to the cloud at all or anything. They're just, like, buried on this ancient uh, terabyte drive that literally is, like, the size of a, an encyclopedia because that's how big they were back then as opposed to today where it's like, whoop, that's my terabyte. Um, it's crazy. Uh, so I'm digging through all these videos that look like they were filmed on a potato. And <laughs> uh, just super glitchy, super grainy. But one of them was actually uh, our first night in the first ever house that we bought. And I watched that one last night, you know, when we first moved out. When we first out, moved out to California, we lived in apartments for about four years and then saved up enough thanks to mostly Stephanie's job. Because um, YouTube doesn't, didn't pay much back then. Uh, I was just doing it as a hobby. Uh, but we saved up enough to actually buy a house for ourselves, which is exciting. And... The video is, um, I'll have to, we'll have to do like maybe a react to old react. home videos. Like that would be fun. But the video is really cool because you just see how overwhelmed we are with owning a house, right? Because like it's big, it's empty. Like after living in an apartment, which is like one, two rooms, all of a sudden you have like four plus rooms and like two stories or whatever. And they're all empty and it's big and echoey and we have no furniture and except for literally a couch that was left behind by the previous owners that were like, no one told us why this is here. Do we get to keep it? Do we not? I don't know. There's a random couch. Uh, that's the best furniture. Right? Random yeah. furniture. Where you don't really know where it came from, but you know that you own it. Fun fact, uh, someone snuck in apparently one day and uh, stole it out of our house. I, I, apparently they were just holding it until like the movers could get it or something, I guess. No one ever told us. We never knew that they were coming to pick it up. It was real disturbing. Fun fact. But anyway, uh, so this is actually really appropriate. I'm excited about this. Uh, maybe, hey, if you if you like the idea of me reacting to, like, old home videos, they are cringe. I I was 22. Uh, what's, not what's when I, cringe not the about house being one. 22? What's that? What's cringe about being 22? Oh, buddy. Uh, I don't, maybe you're not cringe, <laughs> but Matt Pat at 22 was peak cringe. Uh, I'm like, oh no, I'm supposed to be like a young adult out in the world and this is how I'm behaving? Oh no, it is rough. Uh, you... No, I think what's cringe about it is I did an audition for the show Glee at the time. They were doing an online audition. I see. Where like you uploaded videos to the MySpace. The Glee Project. Or yeah, the Glee Project. Yes, yep. thank you. Uh, so you do know it. Yeah. I live with Gleeks, unfortunately. <laughs> Unf it's my burden to bear. <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately. How dare you? That, actually, I'm not the biggest fan of the show, but I'm like, it's about show choir, and I was in show choir, so this is a thing, uh, <laughs> unfortunately. But they did this big online audition, and, you know, I was in theater at the time, and you had to assemble, basically, a, you know, an audition clip. And, I, one, I figured out how to hack the algorithm to get myself the most stars, uh, so I'm really bummed that they never got back to me, because technically I had the most stars. But, two, looking back, I'm like, ooh. That is a cringe audition. Uh, my intro is so painfully awkward. I'm like, oh no! So anyway, we'll have to react to that. The internet point. needs to see it. The internet needs to I see you these videos. They are, they are rough. So anyway, we're going to buy a house today, I guess. Uh, virtual open house, click to begin. I I'm assuming this is not what it appears to be at first glance, but let's just see. Uh... <laughs> 
Hello there! My name is Agent Name, and I'm one of your local North Tree real estate agents for the client neighborhood area. Nice to meet you. Uh, true story, um, this is actually true. People, uh, when you have houses in, like, highly desirable parts of California as, like, the market is down, you get, like, handwritten notes from random people that, that kind of do this. Sometimes they don't even fill in this stuff, but, which is just dumb. But we've gotten a couple handwritten notes of like, we want to buy your house so we can flip it and sell it for much more than it's worth or whatever. Like, just real estate is a weird market. Anyway, uh, thank you for being a part of our alpha testing program. We're excited about our partnership with Optics Dynamics Labs to help bring you the latest in cutting edge real estate technology through nano drones, photogrammetry, pho photo photogrammetry, yeah, great, and industry-leading machine learning, wow, well, you, you had me at machine learning, I mean, everything is machine learning these days, if, if it can be made via an algorithm, I'm a winner, also, love the hair, I mean, that just, this just pulls the whole look together, I think I knew 10 of these guys in college, but what does it all mean? Well, client name, I'm glad you asked. For the first time ever, we've made the home buying process more convenient by bringing the full open house experience to the comforts of your personal digital devices. It's home buying revolutionized for the 21st century. Cool. Excellent. Excellent. You know, and if, going back to the cringe thing, and if I'm saying that me as 22 was cringe, and seeing how cringe I am today, you know it has to be cringe. Like, if, if MatPat in 2021, which is already pretty cringy, is saying MatPat at the age of 22 is super cringe, that just tells you how bad it is. Anyway, through a combination of camera drones and thousands of still images, we can now scan and recreate a fully explorable three-dimensional snapshot of any home. This is actually true uh, if you do any real estate or home buying. It's become fairly common practice at this point for them to do either 360 photos or virtual tours where you're not physically walking through the space, but you kind of like transition between rooms so that way you can, it, it's like Google Maps basically for real estate. Do you ever try to look for the robot? Yeah, sometimes, it's yeah, where you try to like to look do. extreme up, extreme down. Yeah, try or like check in mirrors. Yeah, check in the mirrors. A lot of the robots have learned to avoid mirrors because have they know they I'm looking for them. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Are, is this, is this just what you do for fun, man? Well, <laughs> like, like for me, I understand, because, you know, like, I've been in the real estate market over the last couple of years, but like you? You're... Well, we were trying to find a home during COVID times. Oh, okay, okay. So it's only robot stuff. Yeah, right, mm -hmm. that makes a lot so of sense. So we made a game out of it. Did, did you find, it's like peekaboo robot. <laughs> yeah. Did, did you find any? Yeah, we found a home. Oh, nice. I no, I, a home, place. I meant a robot. Oh, yeah, a few. Okay. Several. Oh, nice. Yeah, they're not that good. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that should just be a GT Live. Forget playing actual uh, uh, games. We're gonna make our own games going to like Zillow.com. We're gonna do a bunch of virtual, and we'll be like, wow, that home is way overpriced. Or I would never pay that, or, oh my gosh, Matt, this is what's gonna happen. We're gonna do this game, but we're gonna cover up the prices, and then we're gonna try to guess how much that house is worth. Okay. That would be a there lot of fun. There is a whole, like, Zillow searching community on Twitter. Is there really? Yeah, well, there's people who try to find, like, the craziest looking Zillow photos. Oh, I'm sure. There's that one was... home that's full of, like, models. Like, um, what are they called? Like, dolls? Mannequins? Mannequins. No! There's no, that's gotta be a joke. No, it's literally full of mannequins, and they're, like, posed behind all of the, like, various things in the house. No well, way! We'll have to, maybe we'll do a video on it. Yeah, it's let's... Crazy. Yeah, I was gonna say, let's let's do maybe, like, a house house bargain game or, like, search through the cringiest houses. There's yeah. gotta be lists of like weirdest houses on Zillow. We can do it. That would be fun. Okay. okay, we'll do that. That'll take a couple weeks for us to put together, but we'll do that, that'll be good. All right, three dimensional snapshot of your home. <laughs> this game has given us a lot of ideas. <laughs> for a seller, that means no more dealing with the inconvenience of multiple showings. For a buyer, you can now browse our entire portfolio while sitting on your couch. If you want to see us do a house buying game, let us know in the comments. So, your tasks in the comments. Should I react to old, old cringy videos of MatPat and 2? Should we play like a house buying, like, prices right style game? Slash react to like wacky houses on these websites, that'd be fun. We're excited to show you a perfect home in your client neighborhood area. It's a fresh listing from one of our newer developments. But before we can get into all that fun stuff, I'll need to go over the basics of how this works. Don't worry, it won't take long. He's doing the double thumbs up, which means you know he's serious and also above board and also a cool dude. Okay, this indicates what uh, what room you're currently in. Moving your cursor over the information bar. Okay, additional options. 
Moving your cursor around the screen in examples, the highlighted areas, okay, will reveal different icons. Left turn, right turn. Okay, so it's just a point and click adventure for the most part. And then there's the info bar. Okay. Now I, th now I think we're ready to get started. I highly suggest that you wear headphones to get the full virtual open house experience, maybe one of these days. Please keep all hands and feet inside the ride at all times, and remember, have fun. And do let us know if there's anything we can do to improve your experience, because here at North Tree Real Estate, you, client name, are our highest priority. So high priority that you filled in the blank with my name. He's given that okay. You know, you know it's good. Who I trust him. He, he, he missed the tip of his thumb. So maybe Bob. I don't trust him. Yeah, right now I don't trust him. Like, if you're making an okay sign, like, how do you make an okay sign? Do you miss? Oh, I do that too? You do it! <laughs> that's so weird! Do you, like, full on? Yeah, I, I, tell, I, I tap the tip of my I thumb. I think that's weird. Really? You're putting so Who's much the... effort into that. Yeah, I, I'm a try hard, Matt. <laughs> Haven't you learned that at this point? Embrace it. I'm you're, a perfectionist. You're the Jan of I am the Jan. I am the rosé of this live stream. <laughs> I'm the rosé of YouTube, honestly. <laughs> there it is. Uh, that's a Drag Race reference, for those of you who don't know RuPaul's Drag Race. Yeah, RuPaul's Drag Race, giving people who is a perfectionist a hard time. No! It's okay to be a perfectionist. Embrace it. Just means you care a lot. Okay? Okay, look. Really? You missed the tip of your thumb? What do you guys do? Three things for you to do down in the comments below. React to cringe videos, play a real estate game, and three, how do you how do you make your okays? Do you do tip a thumb or not tip a thumb? This this feels so strange to me. That's like the normal way to do it. Get out of here. You are a maniac. <laughs> okay, live chat overview. Camera's right below it. Detail. Uh the <laughs> I love it! I love the really badly photoshopped out. I'm sold! I'm sold already! The entryway has a nice modern look with a spacious vaulted ceiling. There's also a convenient guest bathroom located just down the hall. Oh, this is great. Okay. Oh, God. Uh, entry. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is this... Is this what I think it is? Oh, it is! This is the house again, isn't it? It's that same damn house from PS5. I don't simulator. know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's the same house! <laughs> we should just, we're just doing a whole series on every game made with this exact same house that you can buy off of, I'm sure, like Unity assets or whatever. Oh, they don't have a TV here this time, though. Yeah, we've played through this house twice. We did it once with a PS5 simulator and once with Joe's house, which was way more fun than it deserved to be. Uh, <laughs> way more fun. Uh, this cozy living room receives tons of natural light during the day, and the brick fireplace adds the perfect touch of warmth for the cold winter months. Oh, it, it, I mean, I'm pretty sold. And it was originally owned by a man- I'm, st I'm standing on the table! <laughs> you really get a good view of the room if you stand on the dining room table, actually. Dining room is a perfect entertaining space with clear sight lines to the backyard and living room, as well as easy access to the kitchen. Great. Uh, yeah. It was also the previous owner was a murderous, uh, guy who would roll around in his sleep and, uh, you know, chase you unless you threw pies in his general direction. His name is Joe B. City. Joe, <laughs> it was Joe Please B. City. Please address him as such. Uh, I'm, as the client in this new, I'm role-playing, man. I don't know who Joe B. City is. Although, who can really forget who Joe B. City was? <laughs> Iconic. Uh, with modern appliances and tons of space, you'll never have to worry about having too many cooks in your kitchen. <laughs> it's not bad, actually. I don't know. I don't know about those countertops. Do you think they're marble or formica? I don't know. I need, I need a good, like, granite or, you know, solid countertop. That's for the resale value, you know. I don't want to have to do those upgrades myself. Free shovel in the backyard. Very exciting. Uh, garage. Ooh, nice spacious garage. Very big. Very nice. What do we got here? Tell me about this. Two-car garage. has plenty of room for storage. You can be converted to that perfect personal space you've always wanted. Okay, I don't know. This is... Oh. <laughs> I didn't know what I expected to happen when a glitching cursor appeared over this, but... <laughs> hey, poor... A poor quality zoom of what I was just looking at. Oh! Huh. Okay. Alright. Alright. 
There we go. There's something serious afoot. I get it now. Is the shovel a thing? The shovel seems like it must... Is it burying Is it burying a dead body? Have we buried a dead body in our backyard? Ooh, gotta check out that bathroom. Yeah, check out this bathroom. Oh, tell me about this powder room. The this is not a guest bathroom. This is clearly a powder room off of, you know, the front foyer. Now we gotta go upstairs and see if they have an ensuite. These are all words that you need. You know what an ensuite is? I do. Okay, good. I didn't know that a powder room was like a proper term. Yeah, powder room, I believe, is an official. I thought that's just what my grandparents called the bathroom. No, a powder room has specific connotations. I believe it is a room, usually towards the entry, like a main entrance of the house, where mm. there's not a shower or a bath. It's like a half bath, basically. Mm. Yeah. I learned so much on this channel. Yeah, wow. So great. Thank thank you for <laughs> thank you for that so You really provide edutainment. Well, you? That's, you know that's what when people <laughs> click on a video on a gameplay channel, you know, they're like, "Man, I really want to watch video they games." They really want to learn what a powder room is. But though, really, right? they're looking for you know, home home shopping tips with a, a healthy dose of cringe, you know. You come for the gameplay, you leave with bargaining uh, tips about how to afford your next home. There it is. You know, ask about your ensuite. Make sure that your countertops are, you know, grand. The, the room, if you're looking really for the high value rooms in a house, you're looking to upgrade your kitchen and your bathroom because those are the rooms that are really going to up, up the resale value. How do you feel about subway tile? Subway tile, you know, it's it's a trend. It's a, the thing is, you want to future proof it, so you want mm. stuff that's going to be timeless. Mm. That's why all uh, houses at this point and apartment buildings are going with agreeable gray or agreeable. Mm. If you'll notice, there was a trend. Again, welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. There was a trend a, a while ago where uh, warm tones and tans on the walls used uh -huh. to be like the default, and that was what people were looking for. But now people have learned that they want cooler tones, and so basically there's a default paint in the housing market right now that is uh, literally called agreeable gray, but it's basically a, a cool toned light gray color that you just paint the whole house and if people want to accent it or whatever, it's great, but it like, it goes with everything, which is why it's, it's like, the, everything is basically devolving into like a gray miasma. There's no personality anymore. It's all just being like, what can we eliminate? So that way we could be as mass appealing as possible. Anyway, let's talk about this game some more. <laughs> this guest bathroom has been newly updated. See? Oh, they knew it! See? <laughs> With new fixtures and plumbing. So you can rest assured that the guests have laced See? I told you. This guy knew. Jobesity knew that he, if he wanted resale value for his beautiful home, that he needed to uh, upgrade the bathrooms. Because that's where it's all about. Uh, what do we got? Oh, I saw something over here. This is the master bedroom, according to the last game that we played. Uh, oh, hey, what's that? What is that? What is that? Like, really? Is that hair? Is it blood stick? <laughs> what? Is it like someone scratching the floor? What do you think, Matt? It... Like... <laughs> what, what, what horrific murder <laughs> clue are we looking at It's giving at me, like, invertebrae. <laughs> or, like, spinal cord. Oh, spinal cord. When you say invertebrate, I thought you meant, like... It's giving you, like, dead jellyfish vibes. Yeah, kind of. I mean, it is. A little bit. I, I'm not sure what I meant by that word. <laughs> <laughs> As though the vertebra had been removed from our victim. Yes. Thus rendering them an invertebrate. An invertebrate, exactly. Yeah, there you go. I understand what you're... See, I, I get what you're going for. A massive walk-in closet and ensuite en bathroom. See? You know know what that is. Ensuite bathroom. Make this 500 square foot master bedroom your sanctuary from the hustle and bustle. 500 square foot master bedroom is actually pretty darn good. That's uh, pretty nice. Let's see this ensuite right here. For those of you who don't know, ensuite bathroom is a bathroom attached to uh, a bedroom. Most notably during, uh, in the, it happens most in the master bedroom. Marble counters and tiling add a sense of luxury that helps you unwind and relax after a long day. Marble, uh, don't get marble. I'm going to tell you that, guys, right now. Let me warn you. Marble is actually an incredibly soft stone uh, relative to other options for countertops. And so it tends to absorb things, um, whereas like uh, granite and quartz are actually the industry standard at this point. And so if you have granite or marble countertops, you actually have to treat them like once a year with oil 
and you have to make sure that stuff like doesn't sit on it because it'll immediately stain. <laughs> Fun facts again. Don't look at it. Oh, there's that means there's four blood things that I have to find. Okay. Second floor bedroom is perfect for a smaller child or a home office for when you really need to get the work done. All right. Is my work murdering my fellow humans? Because I think my work might be murdering fellow humans. Oh. Okay, so that's that's deadly scratch marks. So someone was being pulled into or out of that room to be horrifically murdered. You know, as you do. <laughs> I do wonder about that sometimes, though. You ever wonder, like, if you go into a house or look at a house tour or anything, you're like, I wonder what's happened in this house. Hmm. You never wonder about, like... I try not to think about it. No? You're never down in the basement well, of, like, I'm a like... house when you're doing a house tour and being like, I wonder if I could murder someone down here. I don't go on very many house tours. Yeah, that's if true. If you you're could young. murder someone down here? I mean, if you could... That's not... Hmm. <laughs> Did I say... No, that's I didn't what say you said. that. No, are you sure? You must have misheard me. <laughs> you know... Is this a good basement for covering up the screams of my innocent victim? You know. You just thoughts, said... that, thoughts that just casually pass through your head. <laughs> Another completely redone and modern... If, if anyone ever actually took me seriously in these videos, it would be... T it, please don't take me seriously in these videos. <laughs> Let me contextualize that. Yeah. If I ever started a lore in these videos where I became a mass murderer... It would be pure, purely for the lols and storyline and deep lore. I'm not actually going to lose my mind and kill people in my basement. The internet would never decontextualize things. No. Never. No. The internet doesn't do that. They don't. They always look for context and look at proper sources for all their information. Okay. Without having to fight. who? Okay. Who's going to fight for the shower? Great. Ooh, laundry room. Ooh, let's check out that nice laundry. Mm, see. Oh, my God. Let's look at the details. <laughs> Second floor laundry room means no more hauling heavy loads of clothes up and down the stairs. Talk about a real time saver. <laughs> no, she's not. A, she's not glitching. All right, cool. You need a top. You need a top loader. You, you need a front loader washer. I'm just saying. I'm very concerned about who that person is in the closet. Just without comments. It's just there. It just exists. Oh, uh, the end of hall bedroom is large enough for two small children who is that moody teenager who enjoys their privacy and loud music. Okay, great. Uh, I'm am I miss I'm missing one spooky thing. I'm assuming it's is it the shovel? Or is it the person hiding visibly in the laundry room, wait, waiting to jump out and kill me? It could be that. Did you already check that bathroom behind you? This bathroom? No, the other one. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Oh. Did I, did I miss something in there? Did I miss one? You say that as though I missed something in here. No, I I just genuinely didn't remember. Oh, you just didn't remember. It. I understand. That's that. I believe that's where we started our countertop discussion that's about right. you know the importance of countertops. I'm assuming it's got to be the. Yeah, get the shovel. Address. Right, it's got to be the shovel, right? Maybe the shovel will become active, or maybe I can go outside now. Oh, oh, the door's open now. Okay, that'll do it. Because before they wouldn't let me get to the shovel. Gosh, small. Let's go. Can I, can I leave? The entryway has a nice modern look with spacious vaulted ceiling. Convenient guest bathroom. There you go. Okay. Is this, this, is this just indicating that someone broke into the house with me right now? Yeah, let's go out to... I see, I, see, I see that shovel. That shovel. I see the shovel, and the shovel has gotten me very interested in what the the final clue here is. But really, uh, so we found one in the garage. Maybe I need to look out a window to get the shovel. Hmm. Let's see. There's one we're missing. What could it be? I feel like. Wait, is it the tipped over chair? No, that's just for me literally leaping onto the onto the table so I can get a better view of the room, clearly. Uh, ritual candles, no. Hmm. And I can't go out. Can I just make an offer? You know what? I'm sold. 
can I just make my offer on this house now? I, I think I'm I think I'm pretty good. Actually, I feel really good about this purchase decision. I think this is going to be a, a great home for my family for years to come. Anything down there? No, nope, nothing. <laughs> also, the view of this house. Just incredible. Look at that view. Just, just beautiful. Unbelievable. You, you, you cannot... You cannot put a price on that sort of beauty, honestly. Hey, person in the closet, uh, are you a clue to this murder that's going on? Or are you just the dead body that's hanging out in the in the closet right now? Okay, cool. Just gonna just gonna continue walking through this house, looking for signs of struggle, because that's what you do sometimes. You know, wander around a little bit. Maybe something in the master bathroom. Maybe something exciting. Oh wait, was there something on the floor of the master bath? I can't really look down. I think it's it's the downstairs bathroom. Is it the downstairs bathroom that has it? Okay. Yeah. Did I miss it? I was too excited to talk about ensuite bathrooms. Yeah, that was our powder room That was the powder room discussion. We got carried away. Yeah, I understand. You know, horror games are a dime a dozen, but when it comes to proper proper education about home buying techniques... Check the floor. Oh, check the yeah. toilet. There it is. Okay, blood. Blood. Wait. This whole time, has it been telling us what these things are in the corner? No. Are you sure? So when we were like, what is that weird thing on the floor? Did it say in the upper left-hand corner what that weird thing on the floor was? Oh, you're covering it up. Oh. Oh, now we're entering spooky mode now. Oh, now we're glitching out. Don't look. Wait, don't look at what? Oh, great. Oh, it's super creepy. This is actually... I like I like breaking. I like the fact that this is like breaking with the reality of the tour that we were taking. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh! Oh, that's super creepy. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's really disturbing. Oh, this is... This is terrifying. Huh. Oh, God! <laughs> oh god, that was already just, that was already satisfying. I'm very happy. <gasps> oh, this is taking a, a much darker turn than I expected. Let's continue our to- oh god. <laughs> I like that this house, in each game that we play, progressively gets more and more sinister. Obesity, what did you do in this house? What did you do? Oh, God! Oh, you were the guy who was in the closet? Yes? Hey. Maybe if I... Oh. Oh? Oh, obviously. Oh, great! Ha, 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 ha! Oh, wild. Use arrow keys to reposition. Missing scan data. Oh, wacky. Oh, the creepiest house tour I've ever been on, man. Please rescan second floor. Oh, man. All right. Oh, I'm getting kind of chills. I like that it's also 9.58, the scariest hour of the day. <laughs> Not like 3 a.m., 4 in the morning. Okay, did I, did, I properly, did I properly scan the top here? It is very dark. Scan complete, one of four. Oh, okay, I gotta do each of the rooms, I guess. Ooh, there's that beautiful, beautiful laundry. Second floor laundry, so you don't have to carry any baskets up and down the stairs. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's inside. What? No, duh. No, duh. I just saw him. He then possessed my camera, and now that's what we're doing. Oh, God. Oh, this is creepy as I'll get out. Excuse me. I need to open this last door, please. I've got one more room to scan up here. Oh, it's the bathroom. Fine. 
super creepy. Super creepy. Super creepy. Oh, saving and compiling. Yeah, let's let's recreate this, shall we? Hmm. Oh man, can't trust technology to do the work. Please rescan master. There it is. Yeah. I... Yeah. There you go. Oh, it's different and weird and creepy. Super weird and creepy. Welcome home. Oh, thank you. Can I place an offer? I feel like I've gotten a good sense of what this really can bring to my family. A home for years to come. Do I have to turn back around? I'm assuming. Oh, no. Hello. Oh, yeah, you know, your usual. Your usual demonic pictures on the wall. That's fine. Really brings the home together, honestly. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, uh, this ain't fun. Uh, okay. Luckily, I'm just a camera. Can I go backwards? What happens if I go backwards? Nothing. All right. I thought maybe, like, something was going to jump out behind me. System unassigned reference. Okay, great. Ooh, got more pictures. Look, it's just like PT all over again. Just a very condensed version of PT. <laughs> Here we go. Let's just keep walking in circles. Longest tour known to mankind. Here we go. What would you pay for this house, Matt? What do you think? I think it's priceless. R yeah, you think so? All the memories inside? Well, I was going to say, the memories are certainly priceless, yeah. obviously. But if I were going to, like, demo it? Yeah. Oh, you're going to demo? Oh, yeah. I mean... Are you going to flip it? Are you going to be Clearly unspeakable things have happened in this house. Yeah, but you can't really... Do you think that when houses are haunted, it's the house or the grounds that the house is on? Uh, I think... Oh! <laughs> I think it's the uh, demonic real estate agent who's <laughs> chasing you around the halls. Um, I would say... Do I think it's the house or the ground that the house is on? I think it depends on, you know how the possession is happening or what the, you know, what event did it. Um, to me, I think it would be the house itself in a lot of cases. So you think if I tore this down, we'd be good? You know, I think in this case you would be okay. okay. If you tore this one down, yeah, I think so. Spawn to the it character. Something's going to chase me, isn't it? Something's chasing me behind me right now, isn't it? I'm just going to turn to the right. Can I turn? I'm not going to turn to the left. I'm not going to look the way you want me to look, Gabe. Oh, no, not another loop to loop. Boo! <laughs> huh. I have 25 seconds left? 24? Is this just counting down to my inevitable doom? Just this counting down to me dying a horrific death in this haunted house. Yeah, I would say house, in this case, is probably the thing that's possessed. Uh-oh. Oh, didn't love that. Didn't love that. Nope. Big old nope. Okay, can I control this at all? Element missing. I, my controls are just like super wobbly right now. <laughs> oh, there's my friendly real estate agent. Hey, buddy. Hey, hi. So what's a guy got to do? You know, can we, can we put some contingencies on buying this house today? Uh, I, I really love it, but I think the original owner has some, uh, you know, some work to do in the kitchen. A little bit in the backyard, and uh, yeah, if you could just, uh, if they could hire, you know, an exterminator and an exorcist, that would be really great. I wonder if you could actually put in your house contingencies that you need an exorcist. So when you buy a house, right, you have, like, things that need repairs, and you can tell the original owner, like, hey, I'm buying the house, but you need to fix this before I buy the house. Uh, and so I wonder if you could do something where it's like, I'll buy the house, but you need an exorcist first. Ha! Huh! <laughs> God. Uh, mm, let's walk down the ground meat tunnel. See, this is a feature that not many houses have, but I think more are going to... It's really trendy. <laughs> You're going to see this really blow up. 
the raw meat room. It's the new subway tile. It, it is. It's no <laughs> more agreeable gray. No. Only Forget, meat wall. Yeah, meat wall. Meat wall is the new number one in the housing market these days. Should I switch cameras? Should I turn around? What do we, what do we got going on here? I was just going to stare at meat wall for a little bit. Cool. Undefined, yes. Oh, there we go. Let's make an offer. Yeah, you know, really loving how the meat wall really ties everything together. It's, it's a winner. That was great. Super fun. Uh, also, perfect recreation of what it feels like to buy a house. <laughs> Not, barely joking. Because you buy a house and then you're like, oh, geez, that's a lot of money. I am on the hook now for a lot of money. There you go. Just finished paying off those college loans. It's like, oh, here's another giant bill that I'm going to be paying out for the next 35 years. Yeehaw! That was great. Super creepy. The father. Created with Adobe Fuse. The it. So we're learning our cast of characters. So, you know, father kills his family. You know, usual. The offer. that sound? Hey! Offer accepted! Oh, oh no. Oh, expect a call soon. See, sometimes you look for the robots in the mirrors, sometimes you look for the dangling feet in the mirrors of your house tour. Yeehaw! Well, that was a feel-good experience. Today's episode really ran a gamut, I feel like. We went everywhere from cringy videos of MatPat to home buying advice to all the latest in interior decor. And now we're homeowners. And now we're homeowners. Congratulations, everyone. I think it's going to, I think, I think we're going to have many happy years in our house. If only it had a basement to silence the screams of my family as I saw them in half. Do you think meat walls provide good noise insulation? Oh, 100%. Absolutely. Speaking so, from a friend's experience. We're kind of getting more than we paid for then. Oh, certainly, right? We don't even have to soundproof it. That'll be our new GT Live room. Just <laughs> covered in raw meat. Ideally, the meat is pulsating. I mean, you can't have a meat wall. <laughs> no, like... Without it pulsating. That's how you tell the difference between a high-quality meat wall and a, you know, low-quality meat wall. It's the pulsation of <laughs> the animal material. Hey, so I'm going to wrap things up here by calling out comments from a previous video. Uh, let's see, as I record this, Everhood just came up. So, I'm gonna call out the people in Everhood. So, Everhood! This is Infamous Minotaur. Oh wow, a big YouTuber actually noticed Everhood. This is amazing. I, I hope more audience members can view Everhood, because I'd love to continue it. Uh, Blue Core. This game reminded me so much of Deltarune's look. At first I thought it was a Deltarune fan game. Right? It has a very similar look. It is not. Uh, Paul Tarsus says, You know, it's a good game when MatPat is repeating, What is this game? Haven't heard that in a while. You almost heard it with this one, <laughs> honestly. Um, I also, yes, I'd love to see you more play. See you play more of this. Great. And then uh, Pandora Vex. I know Steph isn't going to join all the time anymore, but it would, I would love to see you both play. It takes two. Don't know that game, but I'll look into it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. And remember, it wasn't it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video just for you. See ya.